In this short video, we're going to look at how easy it is to create a quiz on Socrative. Now, first of all, there are two Socrative apps, there's Socrative Teacher and Socrative Student. To create and launch a quiz, you need Socrative Teacher. Now, you log into this app. I've already done the logging in bit, um, but that means that you can use it on multiple devices. Now, on the dashboard here, you can see all of the different ways that you can launch your quiz once you've created it. But in order to start one from scratch, create a completely new quiz, we need to go to Quizzes, Add Quiz, and then Create New. From there, we can uh, build up a quiz using these three different formats. I'm going to start with multiple choice. Uh, nice and simple, you type in your question, and then you type in your different uh, choices. Now, what you need to be aware of at this point is that you do need to dictate what the right answer is. Um, if you don't do that, then Socrative won't be able to mark uh, the quiz for you. So in this case, the answer is bug. So I need to tap on the little circle next to the word. Um, and then when uh, Socrative creates a report at the end of the quiz, it will be able to tell me who got the right answer. Let's move on to true or false. Again, nice and simple. Um, you type in your statement and then you dictate whether it's true or false. In this case, uh, a keyboard is an input device. That is true, so I'm gonna keep it as true. Now, if you like, you can add an explanation. Now, this is kind of more information on your particular question. Um, I'm not gonna do that this time around, but what I am gonna do is add an image to go along with my question. So I tap on the image, tap on my uh, photo library, and within here I've got a picture of a keyboard that I've already taken. Cool, so I'm quite happy with that. L let's move on to short answer. Now the short answer is a little bit different. You ask a question and the children have to type in an answer. So the question that I'm going to ask is, uh, is about unambiguous instructions uh, and what the technical term is for that in programming. Now, the answer is algorithm, but my students might uh, type in algorithm with a capital A, or they might type in algorithm without a capital A. Now, both answers are technically correct, so I'm going to type both options in um, because uh, that means that, again, Socrative can mark the work for me. Once you've finished your questions, you tap on back to top and then save and exit to complete your quiz, which I'm gonna do now. You need to title your quiz. This one is gonna be called Computing. And then that is available for you to launch for your students. So if I go back to the start, this is the opening dashboard. You can choose which way you want to launch your quiz. I'm gonna tap on just a simple quiz format, choose my computing quiz, and for the purposes of this particular activity, I want the children to have instant feedback. Um, I press start and away we go. The children connect with the quiz by typing in my room name, which is at the top there, 868734. So there you go. That's how you create a quiz on Socrative.